they don't waste any time in tackling crickets, adult crickets. This one here is a nymph. They'll often group feed. You can see the adult that came out to share. Just wants to share. This one here is a little bit reluctant to feed. There it goes. Anyway, you don't want to take a bite off of one of these things. And some good news here. These are babies. Size comparison with my finger there. They've hatched out of these eggs right here. Do assassin bugs cannibalize? Fortunately, the answer is sometimes they do. Horrid King Assassin Nymphs. Not a good neighborhood if you're a cockroach. These are the kings of all the pet hobby assassin bugs. This one over here doesn't have its wings yet because it's a subadult. And this one over here, you can see, just molted today. It's got strikingly different colors. Those post-molt colors, very pretty. And you can see it's ecdysis there, it's shed. The little white wispy looking things are actually um, the lining of the little trachea, the breathing tubes in the insect. And I'm going to show you why they're called assassin bugs. It just pounced right on that cockroach. Aren't they pretty? This is a horrid king assassin bug. And this is its tank mate molting. The bright red is the fresh exoskeleton, new layer of skin, and the old sort of raisined up speckled version there is the old exoskeleton. They hold their position, maintain stability during this delicate process, They're holding on with these back legs, tarsi, hook-like points there, digging, And with the aid of gravity, start to wriggle themselves out. The old skin, a little bit tight. Humidity during this time is very important.
outside Tala Horida. The Horrid King Assassin Bug. Gwentomology, Matt and Gwen requested a drawing of a father-daughter insect team on the hunt. And at Miss Umina's interpretation of it, I see what you did there. <laughs> do you? Do you see everything, though? Well, let's see here. It's, <laughs> I did some it's, research. It's a father and a daughter, mm -hmm. and they are on the hunt together because there's a prey item between them. Yes, but why did I choose those bugs? Why did you choose assassin bugs? And bugs is is there uh, some sort of parental care involved in them? There's one genus I think of assassin bugs, a topozealous, hmm. that does have some paternal care. Ooh, paternal even. Well, the giant water bugs do that. Yes, um, the but I'd already drawn them recently. So. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. And what are they eating? It looks like, like one from their own family. It's an aphid. It even has some honeydew coming out of it. Oh, its yeah, butt. it does. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You guys check out Gwentomology, at Gwentomology on Instagram.